I'm Andrew Hall, Head of Vehicle Safety for Faraday Future. Uh, at the moment we're in uh, Buffalo, New York at a state-of-the-art crash facility. And we've got many cars here. And in the past few weeks, we've done a lot of testing with the team at, uh, at this test facility. You can see inside the car, we actually have the crash test dummy. Uh, a adult male, 50% male, which is approximately my size and a small female in a passenger side, which is a common test for safety. Yeah. And then you see that all of the people around, whereby we've actually got a lot of instrumentation on the car, we want to get as much as we can. So if you follow me around the back, you can see the amount of instrumentation in the back of the car. When we crash test, we need to get as much data as we can, because we want to make the car as safe as we can for the, for the general public. Yeah. And so you look, we have, we've got it fully instrumented, We've got mesh, we have to be able to measure, because it's an electric car, how do we make the car safe and make sure it's safe after a test, is we actually want to check that the battery is uh, isolated and there's no risk of electrocution. You can see, we'll see that the airbags will deploy, the occupants will be protected, and you'll see a car which looks like a wreck, and it is, but the whole point is we absorb the energy to protect the occupants because the, the occupant and the battery are the most important thing. So that we've got very good energy absorbing capability of the car, all of the mechanisms which we designed have worked as intended. We have the structure underneath which is designed to deform in a particular way so we can allow the car to keep moving forward and reduce the deceleration on the occupants. We actually have the structure is also designed to crumple and we, that's often referred to as a crumple zone which needs to be very controlled, very repeatable. This is what we have. And the important thing, not just for the occupant, is to protect the actual battery system because EVs have a higher risk for other issues. Well, we have a very well protected high voltage system.